flying without a net i think is a, is a name of a book um, uh, written by uh, uh, thomas de long and i've quoted that in in one of the chapters so um, i think all leaders at some time or the other are really flying without a net you know so you may fall third and then you may actually break every bone in your body or you may actually end up you know a fly so i i think the big big thing a leader has to do is to surround himself with a team who can help him take that call right uh, you never have all the answers so then, for example in that story when we went and recommended uh, to gsk that they should position cobalt x uh, czs which is a multivitamin with chromium zinc and selenium purely for uh, diabetic patients uh, no one had done that before there were hundreds of antioxidants this czs is antioxidants hundreds of antioxidants and all the antioxidants are making all the claims so it's good for diabetes good for heart patients it's good for skin it's good for falling hair it is good for peeling skin, you know everything so we said no you should take it one single dose so and at that stage and I, and i think it was bold of the marketing team they said look we are scared i don't know whether we can do this uh but it was bold of them not to reject it they said look let's take this to the md you present your story to the md and if the md agrees we'll go with it a lot of time what happens is the people in the middle layer put in so many filters that they are so scared of taking any decision and they are always second guessing the boss and by the time the boss gets to see it what is shown is completely you know um, mishmash of what was the original thought so here i think two things happened one the team felt that yes it was a risky strategy but they were willing to take it to their boss and stand by it saying yeah agency has recommended it we think it's risky but it's worth a shot and the ceo at that time said yeah i agree let's go with it right so obviously there was gut and brain so there was analysis which showed that there was a big market but of course it was a gut feel gut feel reaction 